G'day folks, this is Rich Burdess from Datacom Christchurch, New Zealand, talking about how Power Apps and Dynamics 365 can integrate um, to use um, our entity, Death Star Rentals, um, to capture leads um, and push them into um, Dynamics, as well as edit records and add notes and activities through your Power App back into Dynamics. The point being that you can use the Power Apps interface to present just the content that you want your people in the field to use. So as a quick show and tell, we've got a um, model driven app, um, same data set or data source um, for CDS here. Uh, so a whole bunch of people um, and there's no one on the Z um, or Z um, at this point. So we'll add a contact that was one begins with that. Um, same again. So using the standard people plus a whole bunch of people from, from the Empire um, or, or the, the, the Republic um, at the start and so let's dive in. So obviously you can make the idea is you can make your app look any way you want it to look uh, whereas in Dynamics you're a bit more limited or as a model driven app you're also a bit more limited in terms you want to for your branding so imagine you're out in the field and you've got a need to show some people some stuff and why not make it engaging and have clips such as this. And then we'll move through this goes on for a while so we'll just jump through. Okay, so let's add a new contact. And the cool thing here is you can just tap away. Let's spell rentals, right? Here we go. Um, I won't put a phone number in, or let's just put like a one in there. Um, Then also grab some of the Bing map connections as well. There we go. It's not really Dagobah or um, Moss Eisley, but it works. Um, let's grab a photo of him too. Um, well that's when he broke his arm, but we won't do that one. Let's wait for the magic. more in here we go took me a while to get I've got too many pictures okay here he is um, and he's active so I've just been in the field just grabbed him so I've been say at a customer event um, or a trade show got him push that in so we've created what I have done here I haven't transitioned this page to anywhere else but I can go back in the app go back to my existing context I could change the navigation to be a bit better there, but um, this will refresh the data source, and I can see all the other people that are in the empire here that Data Star Rentals has grabbed. And then here's Zach, we just added him, right. So no notes, no activities at this point. Um, jump into um, the model-driven app. Here he is, under Z. And then also, same again in Dynamics 365, right, we've got a new contact. Um, okay. And then just show how we can make this work. Let's let's put some information in about them. We'll add a quick note, and then we'll add a note from here, and then we'll also add a note from the Canvas app, and we'll see how they can pass each other back. So. All right, so quickly add that. There we go. Um, jump back to Zach. Let's just click on there we go. So you click on it, it will refresh the data source, and we've got it there, right? So now I'm in here. I can go and I can view other, um, you know, the other standard um, tr trial uh, people, contacts, activities, and notes. I can go in and add them. Um, let's add a note for Zach again. Right, so click him, change him. I want to edit him, I can go here or I can go here. So just edit and I've grabbed his first name um, from there. So here's all his contact details. Let's update his number. Um, the business number two as well. Easy. Um, and then we'll 
just update that first of all. You can see how they can grab that update, and that's a patch statement um, using the GUID of the user. Um, through that will submit and update. Oops, there we go. Sorry, I shouldn't have dragged and selected everything. Um, let's jump back into them again. So there's no notes except that first one, but his number has changed up here now. There we go. Edit again. Let's give him a note. Only if it's spell completed right, then I'll be fine. And there we go. So you can see the little thinking dots running along the top of the screen. They've got it. Homework completed. Let's jump back in. Click on Zach again. Oh, I might have to go back to contacts and open them again. Sorry. Let's do that. There we go. Homework completed. So that's the CDS app, and then over in Dynamics 365. All right. And then go over to Notes. Homework completed. There we go. Job done. All right. Jump back here. So this is just a, an idea that we showed at the um, Dynamics 365 Christchurch. Um, Saturday event, um, just to should highlight how you can yeah, have an idea, make make something look engaging or or just Star Warsy, um, and have that talk back to Dynamics or to CDS as much as you want. So I hope that's been useful. Um, thanks very much.